Hi everyone, this is Marianne here, Revealing Light, Tarot, Astrology and Spirituality. Wherever you are in the world when you're watching, a huge shout out to you. First of all, I always like to start with my thank yous. Thank you uh, to all my loyal subscribers. Thank you to those that comment with grace and perception and, and uh, facts and knowledge and also some intuition as well. Thank you to the new subscribers. Welcome aboard. Uh, thank you to those subscribers that have been with me from the time I started when I was reading down in my rumpus room and uh, against the a pinkish kind of wall for those of you that remember those days. Um, the channel is growing. It's uh, it's quite, um, I don't know, It's I'm humbled. I'm humbled by it and I do feel that we must keep always keep our egos in check um, because otherwise the gift, uh, you lose that gift. And um, I talked a little bit about Regulus, uh, the, um, the star system that bestows gifts um, often associated with, you know, royalty. It's the Leo, the lion. Um, and uh, I have that on my third house of communication. So... I'm always very, very um, conscious that uh, my perceptions and my ability, my intuition, perceptions, clairvoyance, clairaudience is a gift and, uh, and uh, then I have to treat it with great respect and I ask that you treat that with great respect as well. Um, the news that has come, uh, and, and I should say, and you do, um, so the news has come through um, and I did post a on my community uh, page on YouTube just a update on Princess Catherine who announced in a pretty heart-wrenching video sitting alone on that bench uh, looking fairly frail and pale announced that she was undergoing uh, chemo, preventative chemo, which is like a mop-up chemo. So there are two types of chemos, uh, ones where you have no choice and you just, you have to do it, and ones where they say, let's do it, we've, we've got it all, but let's just do this chemo uh, to make sure that there are no stray cells. Um, so, you know, I feel pretty positive about her prognosis, I feel um, disappointed in the palace and the way that they've handled this from the start, where we all know the uh, the image that uh, that she had to take responsibility for and apologise and say that she was an amateur photo for photographer and she'd been fiddling around with the image. Do I believe that that she actually did that? Absolutely not. This is a woman who is battling uh, cancer and undergoing a started chemo. And uh, no, she wasn't playing around with uh, with photos. So I I uh, think the palace has a lot to answer for. Uh, I also perceived when I watched Kate that Princess Catherine Kate, whatever you like to call her. Um, I perceive that she was a woman taking back her power. That somehow she was taking control of the narrative and um, and ta and really the fact that she was alone, not even Prince William was there, this was someone that was stepping into her power. And anybody, anybody uh, that goes through cancer will know that that from the time that you become unwell through the surgery, through the diagnosis, through the chemotherapy, whatever treatments you have, it's life changing and altering. Now, from my first readings on the princess, I was um, picking up as soon as they, the palace said she'd gone for planned surgery, I was picking up some really, really, really heavy, heavy, heavy cards. And I said that, uh, and they didn't change. Uh, and it'll be interesting because I'm going to ask what's ahead for Princess Kate now. And uh, we'll see. We'll see what the cards actually have to say. Someone asked me about the clairvoyant image that I got of Prince William alone uh, on the throne. I had uh, thrown um, 
on whether she would recover and uh, return to royal life. And I got two aces as the outcome cards. I felt very strongly, intuitively, she would want great change. It wasn't just business at you as usual. So this would follow with that feeling that I got that she was taking control um, and uh, stepping into the power of not somebody who is a victim, but a, as a survivor. And you just grow in so many ways when you go through that cancer battle. So uh, we'll look at what's ahead for Kate. But somebody asked uh, me uh, about the clairvoyant image that I got from uh, with Prince William sitting alone on the throne. And I included that in my little on my little community post because I didn't want you to worry that I thought after her cancer diagnosis that she wasn't going to survive. I think she is going to survive. Uh, I think it's very, very tough. Uh, what was that Im clairvoyant image? Sometimes spirit gives me a metaphor that uh, Prince William will be alone for some time. Sometimes it's not for me or you to interpret that image. It's a, it's a question of divine timing and perhaps following that image up at, at a later time. Many of you have asked, will the conspiracy theory stop with Princess Catherine? No, no, they won't. They will keep going. The uh, latest one this morning is that the video was actually an AI video of Princess Catherine. Um, I doubt that, the, that, that this will stop. The royals are... Uh, they're a public family. They are head of state in the Commonwealth still, uh, Commonwealth countries like my country. Uh, that we have a constitution. We're still part of a Commonwealth, which means that the royal family, <clears throat> while we have a prime minister, we still have a figurehead, figurehead head of state in the, in the royals. In the UK, it's a, it's a, it's a very, very strong relationship between the um, between the UK and the Royals. They are a family that's had their fair share of bad luck over the decades. And it seems like that trend is continuing. So we'll look at what's ahead for, uh, for uh, the Princess. I also want to go to Israel and Gaza. Many of you didn't... Uh, probably don't know, uh, the news was eclipsed in a way by the announcement from the princess that uh, Russia and China vetoed a US resolution in the um, United Nations Security Council for a ceasefire in Gaza and release immediate release of hostages. Russia and China vetoed that. Which leads me to questions about Netanyahu and Putin and whether Putin has a hand in prolonging this in order to damage the current US president in an election year. We'll look at that. Can the RNC survive? The fundraising model now uh, is that it goes to Trump, then his PAC that pays for the PAC that pays for his legal fees, and then and then to the various candidates candidates. Wow. What a model. Can the RNC survive? What's the future of the major opposition party currently in the US at this time? And the big question is another Republican resigned. Uh, that's two in the last couple of weeks. Buck, Rep, Buck and Rip Gallagher resigned from the House of Congress. The Dems are one seat away from taking control of the House. Now, I want to take you back to my readings and I said it's razor thin with the house I I'm just not sure if the Dems do it's like it's a one seat thing if the Republicans do it's like a one two very very razor ma majority let's see if that prediction about the Dems perhaps having a one seat majority uh, comes to pass and of course Speaker Johnson I've said he doesn't last However, uh, Marjorie Taylor Greene has moved a, a motion to, for the Speaker to vacate, but she hasn't brought it to the floor yet. She's reserving that, for, for that for do, to do that at a time of her choosing. Interesting. 
interesting. A lot to read on today. Let's get through it. I like, always like to, uh, my, my readings won't start till about five, seven, ten minutes in because I like to give you a roundup, particularly at the beginning of the week. It's uh, Monday here in Australia, Sunday wherever you are, if you're in the Northern Hemisphere or in the US anyway. All right, um, also one of my dear uh, readers asked me, oh, I thought that was going to drop, uh, for the name of this particular deck with the gold, uh, the gold leaves. I'll just show you. Connie. That deck, I think you were asking what the name is. I do always say what the names are, but sometimes, you know, people miss them. And uh, Connie, this is for you. Golden uh, Universal Tarot. Some of you have been asking about my health. I'll give you a more of an update on my health um, in, the, in another video. Suffice to say that with Spirit's help, and I asked for Spirit's help to try and um, try and overcome the uh, ill health that I was experiencing and I'm here to say that spirit did deliver and I was able to um, work with my doctor in very close kind of intuitive conversation uh, and uh, and then we've we've worked out exactly what was going on and I'm feeling a lot better uh, it does it does speak to the the nature of health post cancer and very harsh cancer treatment we're not just not as robust uh, and that brings me to uh, to the to princess kate all right uh, the decks i'm using today is the art golden art nouveau tarot very pretty deck the shaman's dream oracle because i thought i'll pull a an oracle card uh, on her at the at the end of the tarot reading all right and i've got the Aboriginal Ancestral Wisdom Oracle by Mel Brown, if we've got time to use it. All right, let's uh, let's get going. What's ahead for Princess, the Princess, Princess Kate, Princess Catherine? What's ahead for Princess Kate? What is ahead for Princess Kate? What is ahead? Okay, so I'm um, seeing her children in a carriage. I'm getting very old medieval type uh, images, you know, ro that are surrounding the royalty. Um, it's almost like this bad luck stuff is it's like they have to shake off the past in some way a long history the royals have a long history and and it's it's a checkered history at times as well but there's something around this is a crossroads time and if they are to survive much will depend on and on what happens now how they go ahead all right princess catherine what's happening with you princess catherine what is happening with you yeah she's thinking of her future at this time as well so we have the chariot things are speeding up Sometimes the chariot can come along when life gets out of control a bit. Uh, the chariot takes a very uh, tough charioteer to control because these two sphinxes in this case um, are very strong uh, and sometimes depicted as riding in, op in running in opposite directions. So a lot of skill uh, is demanded um, and I do, I totally resonate with this um, you have to dig deep um, in your recovery. And the other signifier card, of course, is the wounded uh, the wounded warrior here. This is a stepping back. So in other words, events, life, what she's going through, the public reaction, the um, the frenzy, if you like, she's actually taken a, a decision to step back. It's There's no... 
when I said she's gone for control, she's probably put her hand up and said, that's it. You said I was coming back in Eastern. No, 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 no. I'll be coming back in my own good time. There's a stepping back and away from that chariot out of control energy. The foundation of the reading is choices. Smoke screens can be, you know, this is an illusionary card, but it's very much when you are in the thick of that smoke, it's around the choices that you make that will set and stabilize the path ahead. In the past, we get the Six of Pentacles, giving and receiving help. Um, and in debt, this can be in debt, but that's in the past. Uh, so I think these cards are sh really aligning with my intuitive feeling that this is a this is a is not just a watershed moment for her, but this is something when she must take control and make her the right decisions for her and her family. And yes, the family are. Featured here with the Ten of Cups, that's in the sky. What she'll be doing now is doing the best thing she can do for her family. Now we just get news continuing to come. So we're not done with the announcements yet. The Eight of Wands in the immediate future is about headlines, news emerging, rapid. Seems to be things are unfolding very rapidly at this time. In the present, we have healing. This is where she's at at this time. The temperance card, uh, balancing, balancing her emotions, grounding herself. She's a Capricorn. Grounding herself will be very important. Taking the lead, taking control, doing what she needs to do to heal. The environment around is heartbreak and loss. And to a certain degree, a sense of betrayal. And I'm not going to gild my lily here. She has been let down by those around her. I'm talking the courtiers, the palace, whoever, whoever they are, the unseen faces that uh, think it's okay to do some of the things they've been doing. And this is also her own heartbreak at this diagnosis. Was it Princess Catherine? <laughs> I'll clear that up while we're here. In that video? Absolutely no question. All right, the past is in the hopes and fears. Can that's something you think a lot about when you get a cancer diagnosis? Can she recover? Can not can she recover? Can she recover and go back to what she was doing in the past? That's the question. And we have the King of Pentacles. This is her card, Capricorn. In the outcome that is good that is a good card we also have the seven of uh, swords which is a deception as well and I think this is more to do with the conspiracy theories but um, but also those around her that she may not fully trust anymore and we have obstacles challenges fighting these are not good cards, not good energy that surrounds this woman. And then we have ending the death card. Now, I'm not saying she's just going to pass away at all, but that death card speaks to me about the ending of a major cycle. And here is what's at the base of the pack, the newness coming in. So in many ways, her old life is over in a way, and she will have to find a way forward that... Uh, takes into account her own priorities, which is her family and her health. Don't expect things to go on with Princess Catherine Kate in the same way as they have done before. All right, let's have a look at um, better cards overall than what she was getting before. Now the, the truth is out there. The diagnosis is there. It's a great relief to her in a way. All right, better cards than what she was getting before, but a hard road to, uh, to traverse. All right, what's the uh, energy, please, for Princess Catherine? 
gestation period winter's dream yeah you can see her stepping back uh and herald of change the horseman there are there are more announcements coming and grace and generosity which is i think overall how people uh do perceive her so this is a time of healing and a time of stepping back despite the frenzy despite the the burden on her uh this is a time for her of deep in, in introspection and we get uh, time to replenish at the base of the pack. When you're down the well, sorry, I have a hair in my mouth. When you're down uh, the well and you're sitting alone there in the dark and then you see the light, you have to be in a position of rest, introspection, putting your own needs first before you can actually look up to see that light coming through. Okay, that's my reading on uh, Princess Kate. Let's move through the list here. Um, okay. Alrighty, so... Um, I guess I'll go to Israel and Gaza. And while you are keeping the princess uh, in your prayers, please, please keep the, the innocent people in Gaza in your prayers and the hostages in that, that are still being held in your prayers. I see, I give and donate to the Palestinian people in Gaza. And I'd urge you to do that through, you know, you can do many things. Doctors, what is it, international doctors. Um, uh, I st I'm still donating to the UN Gaza uh, organisation. Aid should not have been taken away from them. Uh, Israel is keeping those, yes, Israel is keeping the, the, that aid out. And the U.S. is getting increasingly stricter, sterner with uh, with Netanyahu. The relationship there is very, very torn between Biden and Netanyahu. Um, and I want to see. All right, is does is Net, I just want to see is Netanyahu talking to Putin? Vladimir Putin is Netanyahu talking to Putin? Netanyahu talking to Putin. Netanyahu, thousands of protests, they want him gone in Israel. Netanyahu is not Israel. I, I firmly believe that. So, I'm just, yeah, okay. So, is Netanyahu talking to Putin? Netanyahu talking to Putin. Not to Putin, perhaps someone within uh, his circle, someone in the military I'm seeing, um, very, very stern mouth that dips down in the corners uh, in a Russian uniform. Is Netanyahu talking to Putin or or anyone or the surrounding his military, anyone connected with Putin? Is Netanyahu talking to anyone connected with Putin or Putin himself? Justice, justice, the justice card and the lover's card. Oh, my God. He, he probably is even talking to Trump. Um, and then we get defending oneself. The queen of pentacles in the past, standing one's ground, uh, having everything you need. The queen security, financial stability is in the past. And then we get the chariot again, things getting out of control here. And the Ace of Swords is the uh, outcome card. So that is a strong yes. We also have isolation. Isolation, uh, skill, skill, isolation and reflection. And then we have the Apprentice card in the environment around. That's what I actually saw for Netanyahu. So much death there on his hands, whether it's hostages or whether it's the the those in innocence in Gaza, so much death, but him being mortally wounded. That's the clairvoyant image that I got. And the plan is the outcome, the Ace of Wands, a very strong yes, a plan, a project, soldiers moving in. 
and then we get uh, circles of support. Um, these are all very, 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 look at this, look at this. Is Netanyahu in contact with Vladimir Putin and those around him? That was the outcome cards. Yes, strong, yes, 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 yes. And what's he talking to them about? Going into Rafa, going into Rafa. So there is a Russian connection there uh, and also a Trump connection with Netanyahu. That became pretty clear in the, in the cards and in my intuitive um, feelings around what I'm seeing. Okay, so does Netanyahu want Trump in? <laughs> because he will then give him the West Bank and whatever else. Does Netanyahu want Trump as the president? Does Netanyahu? You see what a what a cruel, cruel world this is. But Netanyahu gets his karma. Does Netanyahu want Trump in? So we get death. We get locked out. These are the pretty much the Gazans. Does Netanyahu want Trump in? We get the Russia, my card for Russia. I guess Netanyahu perhaps wants what uh, looks like what's what what Putin wants, the Empress abundance, a period of time. We get the Hierophant in the past, the government is in the past, the courts, and then we get a offer with the Knight of Cups. Always to me, whenever I'm talking about the ex-president, I get a lot of that around those that surrounding him for either their own benefit or as part of the cult. We get um, really taking on too much. You know, just because he wants this doesn't mean he's going to get it. Illusion and delusion. What are we do? What's the currency we're dealing in? Illu it's an illusionary energy. And we get victory. He wants complete and utter victory. Now, remember, that's not the question I asked. I asked, was he uh, wanting the ex-president back? In the hopes and fears, he's very much wounded. And then we get the king of swords, strategy, planning, circles of support here. But we also get the wounded, the warrior that's wounded and 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 is actually returns home from battle, either killed or mortally wounded. Just because he wants it, yes, absolutely he does. It's in his own interest. Doesn't mean he's going to get it. In fact, this came up clairvoyantly, and now it's come up twice in relation to these to this reading. I feel Netanyahu will be taken out in some way. Um, He's facing corruption charges. The Israel's calls for his resignation are getting stronger. So, um, all right, let's move to um, can the Democrats in the US raise a thin majority for the Republicans? Very much a party in a state of flux in a crisis of their own making. Almost like the worst outcomes in politics has actually occurred for them. All right. And those that can't stomach the way the party is being run are leaving. The senator for Alaska is talking about not supporting the ex-president. This is a party, as I said, in a state of flux. All right. Actually, let's... No, where will we go? Okay, all right, let's read on the RNC. Let's shuffle, and because that's where I feel I've got to go. It's very pertinent to the question. All right, so can the RNC, Republican National Committee, can the RNC survive? Can the RNC survive? The Ten of Wands is here, uh, and we have <laughs> lies and deceit. And then juggling, juggling, oh wow, manipulation, lies, deceit, juggling, not a good energy for survival, illusion and delusion, choices, 
bad choice. There are only there are only two types of choices: good choices and bad choices. We get planning, strategy, logic is in the past. And then we get the death card. It may not. It may not. Certainly in its current iteration. The death card is crowning this reading as a potential. The energy is endings. We get manipulation, manifestation. So something is coming here. Is it out of the ashes? Something new comes? I don't know. We have the page of wands in the here and now, very much cut down in political power. That is the reality and facing an inevitability. What I'm seeing here so far is they will, but they're going to go through a period of decimation and then they'll have to come back from that. The nine of pentacles in the hopes and fears, the funds, the money. And then we get... The Eight of Swords as the outcome. Not a good, it's not going to survive in its current iteration. We have women here uh, stepping forward. The Queen, the Queen of Wands. And then we get the High Priestess here. Wow. And then we get the Hierophant government. Um, Trump taking the money is a betrayal that almost mortally wounds the Republican Party. And it is it is a situation of their own making. They do survive, but almost like what's left is embers that have to, uh, have to come back. This is a fairly destructive pathway for the Republican Party, though they were not good cards. All right. Democrats. <clears throat> well, this will be an interesting one. Can Democrats, will Democrats hold the House, take over the House before November 2024? Will the Democrats take over the House before 2024? Think about that, what those cards in that previous reading said. Will the Democrats take over the House in 2024? I'm still getting that Four of Swords energy will the it's an energy of mortal more being mortally wounded will the democrats for the republicans will the democrats take over the house in 2024 okay so it's a hard uh, it's a hard task Ooh, but then we get things moving very very quickly wow that's interesting we go from uh struggle to Something that happens very quickly. Will the Democrats take over the House in 2024? Judgment card. An inevitability of change. The moon card is in the past. Things muck coming to the surface. Emotions. But, you know, uncivil, uh, in, un, being uncivilised. This is in the past. The energy around the House. It's almost, you know, out. it's what we've seen play out with the Republicans. We have illusion and delusion and choices again, a lot of that around. And then we get wish fulfillment and miracles in the immediate outcome. I like that. The magician card can be manipulation and then we get an offer here. So I think you're going to see Speaker Johnson want to work a bit more across the aisle at this time. He only has a one seat majority after Gallagher leaves. Hopes and fears, it's, it's, it's about funding the government. And then we get restriction, restriction and loss, walking away and then we get families. Wow, I'm going to draw clarifiers on that and the past. There's something around government supply. I know they've just passed that. We get uh, lies and deceit, abuse of power, loss. This is the current energy in the house, followed by the ace, uh, the ace of wands. So I'm going to say um, it's a pretty... It's pretty bad there in the house at this time. Then we get, no, oh, that's too many, but 
what do we get? Okay, we get the King of Cups, the Knight of Wands and the Chariot. Something moving very, very quickly. Okay, so I'm not sure they do, uh, but let's take a look. Clarify these. Will the Democrats take over the House? It's, the energy is very heavy. Will the Democrats take over the House? And it's about guaranteeing government in a way. Oh, the Sun card. And then pausing something. And then an offer and a bombshell. Does someone... Someone comes over? Someone becomes an independence? Something like that outland, outlandish occurs. A rep is thinking, and I'm not talking about Murkowski in the Senate, I'm talking about that something happens with a Republican in the House that does not guarantee government for Johnson. That's what I see, or the Republicans in the House. That's kind of like the scenario I see. Okay, one quick question. Speaker Johnson, does he stay or does he go? Will Speaker Johnson last? Well, I read that he wouldn't. Well, can Speaker Johnson hang on is probably more to the point. Can Speaker Johnson hang on? <laughs> Juggling. Justice is sweet and endings and beginnings. The world card, the chariot, things being out of control. The knight of, uh, knight of rods. So he's going to, as I said, be looking uh, to work with the Democrats. The immediate outcome is heartbreak. Uh, and then we get the king of um, cups, which is my card for Biden. We get um, the queen of wands, female. It could even be a female that comes over. National security. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Wounded warrior and boundaries as the outcome. Uh, and the three of pentacles. Lies and deceit, of course, that energy and the past. Um, possibly not. Possibly not. You give me a clarification. Can he hang on? He's going to try and work more with the Democrats. You'll see that. Um, and he's, he's, he's becoming isolated, obviously. Political power cut down. And then we get strength. Illusion. His strength is illusionary. He could go any time. That's what I'm seeing. But I think what might happen before that is we get a, a Republican in the House doing something very odd. Very odd. Either be, I don't know. Somehow voting with the Democrats. Something like that occurs. All right. Bye for now. See you again. Cheerio. Cheerio, everyone. Bye.